Sometimes in Garden Warfare 2, characters that are different and unique to the point where they feel like an entire different class are good, and sometimes they are bad. An example of this is General Supremo. The reason why I say that he is different and that he doesn't feel like a soldier is the fact that instead of having ammo and a reload, he's like an all-star. He has overheat. In my eyes, this switch is a good and a bad thing. There are certain elements of General Supremo that sometimes make him the best soldier. Yes, you heard me, the best soldier. Obviously, he's not the best soldier overall, but there are some instances where he absolutely dominates. Hopefully, me telling you all of this grabbed your attention because today, I will be proving something that a majority of the community thinks is unprovable, proving why General Supremo doesn't suck. General Supremo is a rare variant of the Soldier class. He first made his appearance in Garden Warfare 1 with very similar traits such as his overheat and the unfortunate fact that he cannot jump while shooting, which is the reason why many people hate him. His appearance is based off of a military outfit, including a cannon on his back and a ballistic helmet on his head. He also has 5 stars on his helmet and badges on his vest, meaning he either served in the military as a general or just likes the look of stars and circles, but considering he is named General Supremo, I'll take him as an army general. Anyways, now that you know a bit about General Supremo, let's dive into the important stuff, starting first with the weapon firing category. Considering General Supremo is an overheat character, it may or may not come to a surprise to you that he has the third highest DPS in the entire soldier class, as seen right here. Here. The two soldiers that beat him in this category are Base Soldier and Sky Trooper, since even Sky Trooper and Base Soldier are considered in the top 5 and even sometimes top 3 soldiers for a lot of people, General Supremo being in 3rd place is an amazing start already. For max sustainable DPS, he also comes in 3rd, being beat by Base Soldier again and a different soldier, Super Commando. His damage per shot is unfortunately the worst in the entire class with 5.6, but the section right under, the effective rate of fire section, shows that he has the highest effective rate of fire in the entire class with 700 and the second closest being Sky Trooper with 650. His fall off start is 10 meters being beat by 5 soldiers, but his fall off end being beat by only 4 soldiers. I don't want to say that this doesn't matter much because it does, but General Supremo is clearly not great at long range. Him being classified as the all star of the soldier class by the official wiki page for him is really starting to make more sense since it also looks like he performs better at close range on top of having overheat, two traits shared with the all star class. This category is going to be mostly about the overheating category, but since we are focusing on every soldier to compare Supremo, I will use data from the ammo and reload category as well. His overheat takes 3.67 seconds to kick in, and when it does, it only takes 2 seconds for it to cool down. This is actually really good for an overheat character since most of the all-stars don't recover from overheating this fast. If we compare this to the other soldier reload times, we can see that he beats 5 soldiers since he recovers from overheating faster than they can reload. We can also see here that he can get a total damage of 246.4 before he overheats, beating every soldier. Because his damage slash overheat is the same as damage slash clip, but just in overheating format. He also has the highest sustainable rate of fire with 461.54. That's really about it for this category. Unfortunately for this analysis video, it will be cut pretty short considering that General Supremo really only performs better in these two categories, not saying that it's a bad thing, just saying that these are really the only two categories where soldiers can be compared. So, it looks like General Supremo does actually perform better at a closer range other than a longer one, since a few sections down, it looks like his projectile speed and max travel distance are mediocre in terms of soldiers, since they are known for being best at medium and long range. I think the way to fix this would be to give him extra health. I think 140 would work best since with a health upgrade, you can achieve as much as a corn does. 150. I think a base 150 would be too much since with a health upgrade that is a total of 160 health, and for a soldier it is definitely too much. I think keeping his normal walking speed the same and keeping it so when he shoots he slows down the same, since making him slow for extra health would 100% make him unplayable. 